We were, what happened? We were going. It's pretty good there. I can't tell in my head if I'm on the right beat. <laughs> Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's of course. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, out. more juicy content. Thanks to our Patreon, follow us on subscribe, give us the like button. Hey. Today, we got a stand-up comedy. Hey! I can't. The thing is in the ah. eye, eye stuff. <laughs> and this is called When Your Child Turns 18. You've had three of those experiences, right? I have. I have had none. Yep, but you will. Uh, and it's a stand-up by Atul. Got to be. I don't know if he was the one with, um I think he was the one that did the Justin Bieber thing. Remember? Oh, yeah. I think. Okay. Uh, if I'm wrong, please let me know. But this is called When Your Child Turns 18. All right. What happens when your child turns 18? They turn 18. Oh, wow. Jeez. Yeah, isn't that amazing? This is going to be hilarious. They're no longer 17. They're not yet 19. Oh, wow. They've turned 18. This is why you're a stand-up comedian. Yep. Here we go. That's right. I love my daughters, and uh, uh, three years back, my younger daughter turned 18. And as soon as she turned 18, she said, Papa, I want to learn driving. And both me and my wife are very happy and emotional about it. You know, kid turning 18 is an emotional moment for parents. And also happy... Because I think for both my kids, both me and my wife throughout our life have been like an Ola cab service. <laughs> Just that we are more innocent and gullible, so it's like more like Bhola cabs. <laughs> <laughs> you do feel like a it's cab a service. It's a stupid joke, I love it, you know. <laughs> Because I think both me and my wife have spent half our lives just dropping <laughs> Other half of our lives just picking them up. Yep. From various birthday parties, uh -huh. tuitions, coaching classes. Then these sleepover parties these yep. kids go to. You know sleepover parties, right? Where you want to go and sleep at your friend's house. <laughs> yep. But you stay awake whole night. <laughs> sleep in your fucking parents' house the day after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those sleepover parties. And those, I have to wish my best friend at 12 o'clock in the night, birthday parties. Oh, fuck, I hate those. <laughs> I tell my daughter, Bacha, why do you have to go and wish your best friend at 12 o'clock in the night? Why don't you call her up? In fact, go next day. In fact, do a sleepover. <laughs> we'll pick you up when you're 31, 32. <laughs> <laughs> Probably old enough to drive her own car and come back. No, Papa, she's my best friend. I said, Bacha, you have hundreds of best friends. You have bloody only one father. <laughs> I know he's not the best, but he's okay. He's good. And then my wife will add only to this. <laughs> okay, if you cannot go, I will go all alone at 12 o'clock. Ah! Yeah, no, 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 no. I hate Making me sound like a loser in front of my whole village. I said, Acha, Baba, I will go. 18 years back, I didn't pull out in time. <laughs> Oh, wow. I go to sleep. I told her, Bacha, I'm going to sleep at 11.30. Come and wake me up. I'm fast asleep at 11.30. She comes and wakes me up. Papa, wake up. The time has come. <laughs> what? I'm getting deep. What is the time? <laughs> Have the Nazis come to take us? <laughs> has Modi ji come on TV again? <laughs> <laughs> what does the time come? He said, Papa, that birthday party. I said, oh shit, Bacha, I forgot. Come sit in the car. And as soon as he's in the car, she said, Papa, I have to pick up three other friends. <laughs> said, why should I pick them up? <laughs> why can't their fathers take them? Tu sala bachcha hai ke dushman hai? <laughs> sala baapu tera ubar bul ka driver nahi ho? <laughs> no, Papa, because you volunteered, we put it on the chat, and all these kids want to come with us. I said, somewhere out there, Mr. Sharma ji is humping Mrs. Sharma <laughs> <laughs> come, come, pick up those bloody idiots. <laughs> and even though you're seething with anger from inside, on the outside, you'll be very good to those idiots, you know. But how was your papa? Uncle, papa had a very tiring day. He was very sleepy. Yeah, I bet. So sleepy, bench, or sleepy? And I know it's not a right, you know, thing to do, but at this time, you're also cursing the kid who's <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't his father pull out and tell him? <laughs> you reach the building, all the kids go 
for the party. You see, sitting in the line, the car of line, all cars, no mothers, all fathers. Just in the kitchen, go chuja banana. Sab bichara line mein khade. And what happens at 12 o'clock in the night? All these, you know, radio jockeys come up on FM talking to all these horny babies. Naughty Nasser, horny Rishi. ये तुम्हारी जिंदगी हो गई है। This guy is getting laid on FM, and you're sitting in the car getting laid by mosquitoes. And then the kids come down. I said, चलो ठीक है, I love my daughter. I said, बच्चा, how was the party? Sing a baba. The party was very good. There was a lovely brown cake made by some Parsi lady and a small manjinis cake. I said, what was the manjinis cake doing there? She said, you know, the girls' mother had arranged just to smash it on the girls' face. I said, what? Separate bloody manjinis cake just to smash it on the girls' face? Do you know there are kids in Africa who don't get Monjini's cake to eat? I said, Papa, why? I said, I don't know, because Monjini's doesn't have a branch in Africa. <laughs> oh. oh, he's funny, man. That ended so fast. Uh, he's funny. Accurate? Accurate, man. You are, you are from the age of about... Well, it, it can start really, really young. Once they start going to friends' Once houses. Once they start getting friends and they're, they're comfortable doing a sleepover, which it varies from, from age. You're going to spend a decade... Being an Uber driver, yeah, and then then you have if you have multiple children, you have the I get the front seat, and so you need to come up with a system about the front seat aspect of who gets the front what seat was today, yours? day of the week. Oh, if it was a Monday, Ashley got the front seat. If it was a Tuesday, Alexis got the front seat. If it was a Wednesday, Micah, and then and then repeat. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday. We didn't usually have to worry about it. Sometimes it was rotating based on. Oftentimes it was birth order. And so oftentimes, so that's not, you know, that's not fair. Life's not fair. Your sister was born first. Sorry, she gets, she gets the first dibs. And then I reverse it. That's not fair. I'm the firstborn. Well, just because you're the firstborn doesn't mean you get it. Micah gets it today. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes you just have to come up with a system like that. But it is, it's weird. So many things that happen when you have a kid like that and you're doing all those things that you think are never going to end, uh -huh. like the diaper era and the bathing era. And then... It's over, and what so. felt like was always going to be life, you realize, wow, that's gone, and it like Makes you blink sad. of an eye, yeah, it's like b b almost, almost like you dreamt it. This thing that was so all encompassing suddenly becomes a, basically as vivid as a dream. It's wild. It's, so it's a sad. wild experience. Yeah, it is. But you also wouldn't trade it, like Ashley. Just the other day, I know she wouldn't care if I share this, literally two days ago, she, uh, she FaceTimed me and texted me before and said, uh, Lala, which is my ex-wife, that's her grandma, Lala came to pick her up to take her for her first sleepover, Evie. So Evie went to Lala's house for a sleepover, and the thing that got Ash was not just that she did it, but when Harrell and Ashley left the house, didn't even phase Evie. Yeah. Slept through the night, and then when she saw her the next day, Hi, Mom. Like, didn't even register. And I said, I was, and Johnny and I were on FaceTime with her, and, and I, I, she was, she's like, I've, I've been a bit of a mess today. And I said, yeah, now imagine what it's going to be like when you look at her bed that she slept in for the last time because it's her wedding day. She said, no, no, stop that. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's awful. It's, it's, I told her, I said, parenting is... I said, "Welcome to one of your first of very many goodbyes. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a just a long period of letting go." Shut up. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he is the he is the gentleman that did the Justin Bieber concert okay, one yeah, as well. He's so funny. He's very, very really funny. funny very, man. very unique way of uh, delivering his lines. Yep, um, I like him a lot. So if he has more. Uh, that we should react to, please. please send it our way. Always down to laugh with the funnies. Let us know down below. Josh!